ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತವಿಂದು ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಸಹೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕ ಚರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾವನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಶಾಕಲ್ಪತರು ವಶಕ್ಕೆ ಪಾಸಿಂದು ಭವಜ ಪತಿತಂ ಪಾವನೇಭ್ಯ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮುಖಂ ಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂ ಪಂಗುಂ ಲಂಘಯತಿ ಗಿರ ಯತ್ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ಬಂದಿ ಪರಮಾನಂದ ಮಾಧವ ಬೃಂದಾವೈ ತುಸಿದೇವ ವೈ ಪ್ಯಾವೈ ಕೇಶವ ಸಚ ಕೃಷ್ಣಭಕ್ತಿ ಪದ ದೇವಿ ಸ್ವತ್ವತ್ವ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂ ಚೈವನೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪಾತ್ರಶ್ವ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರುಭಕ್ತಿಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ವರ್ಣ ಧೇಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟದೂಹ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವ ವಿರಿಂಚನುತ ಶರಣ್ಯ ವೇತ್ತಿಹಂ ಪುನತಪಾಲ್ಭವಾಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷ ತೆ ಚರಣಾರವಿಂದ ಯತ್ಪಾದಪಲ್ಲವನ ಕಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಜೀತಕಿ ಗೋದೂಷ್ವದರ್ಶಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರ ಸುಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಯಿ ಕಾಂಕರುಷಿ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದೈತಗಾಧರ ಶಿವಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದೈತಗಾಧರ ಶಿವಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಅಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೋ ಕನುಕಾ ಬುಧಾತ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈ ಕವಿತರು ಕಮಲಾಹ್ಯತಾಕ್ಷ ಭೀಷಾಂಬರೋ ದ್ವಿಜವರೋ ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೋ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯ ಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಾಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿಥೋ ದಿವ್ಯೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ತಿತ್ತ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇಣ ಸದಾ ನರಾನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯಜಟಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭೂಷಿತಾಮಗ ನಾರಾಯಣೋ ಪ್ರಿಯಮನಂಗಮದಾಪಹಾರ ವರಾನಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶನಾಥ ವಾಗೀಶಜುಷ್ಯ ವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಜಸ್ ಚ ವಕ್ಷಸಿ ಯಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಬೀಪಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜೆ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ನಾ 
अहम इज्जा प्रजापति भ्यान थपसो पसमे न नाहम इज्जा प्रजापति भ्यान तपसो पसमे न वुश्रेयम सर्वभूतात्मा गुरु शुश्रया यथा गौरीय गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभा परमश जगदगुरु टोल दैट दोज हू आर गेटिंग द टेस्ट ऑफ निष्किंचन भजन अनन्न भजन दे कैन नेवर ट्राई टू लिव हरि भजन गौरी गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपा परमंश जगत गुरु टोल दोज हू आर ऑलरेडी गेटिंग द टेस्ट ऑफ अनन्न भजन दे कैन नेवर ट्राई टू लिव हरि भजन इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल फॉर देम टू लिव हरि भजन इट इज द क्वेश्चन ऑफ डायरेक्ट फीलिंग इट इज नॉट द क्वेश्चन ऑफ ड्रामा हरि भजन is a question of direct feeling if we can understand what is hari bhajan if we can get the test then all material appliances lab puja pratishtha cannot touch our heart not possible when we can get the test of ananya bhajan then all material lab puja pratishtha becomes stool and urine in front of us or more than that that is why pope are told jore ro pratishtha sukore ro vishtha material pratishtha pope are writing in vaishnav ke who is vaishnav pope are going to compare Popat going to compare material pratishtha with the stool of a pig, with the stool of a boar. Boar, pig always going to eat stool eater. They are all stool eater. After eating stool, again they are going to pass stool. so popat wanted to make us understand about the reality of hari bhajan popat wanted to say how inferior how inferior hard dirty those material lab puja pratishtha popat wanted to give us direct realization by speaking जर प्रतिष्ठा सुखर विष्ठा प्रभात वाटेड टू स्पीक दिस वन ओनली फॉर मेटेरियल प्रतिष्ठा ओनली फॉर मेटेरियल लाभ पूजा प्रतिष्ठा वी आर रेडी टू टू सेल द डिग्निटी ऑफ आर संप्रदाय we are ready to sell the dignity of our high class rich vichar vaishnav darshan vaishnav siddhanta vichar at present we are we are going to make compromise with sahajiya at present we are ready to make a compromise even with sahajiya we want to sell the dignity of our sampradaya just to protect personal lab puja pratishtha just to protect lab personal lab puja pratishtha which is so inferior that pope are going to infer going to compare it with the stool of a pig very important thing a sadguru always try to inculcate the direct feeling inside you a sadguru never pass any lecture 
A Sadguru never pass any lecture. A Sadguru always trying to inculcate the direct feeling of bhajan inside you. Realization power inside you. This is the duty of Sadguru and it is the also it is a duty of such sisha to accept it without any duplicity. I have no right to speak what I cannot feel. I have no right to speak false philosophy which I cannot feel myself. I have no right to speak all false philosophy to get clapping and money position from you. No desire. Papa speaking, my Guru Pat Padma giving me high class association. Papa speaking, I am getting so exalted high association of my Paramahansa Guru that I feel hate to get the association of these material people. I feel hate. Papa speaking, I am getting so high class association of my Paramahansa Guru that after that I feel hate to get the association of the material people. Man, woman, material people, those going to give me pratishtha. I, I hate. From heart I hate. Not that to get clapping I am speaking this philosophy. I can show you so much example, so many examples. One big exalted devotee, I am going to speak one example, one or two. Srila Madhavendra Puripa is the eternal parsad of Gauranga Mahaprabhu, Bhagavan, Krishna. Vaishnavi Pratishtha is quite natural with him. Because those who are Vaishnava, they never want Pratishta, but Pratishta coming to decorate them. It is decoration. But when our Gopinath wanted to steal Kira, Kira for him, when this message was supposed to spread all around, because morning time, night time this happened. Madhavundi was thinking just morning time, Pujari can speak to people, people, one people can to another people. So multiple way this message can spread out. And people can get and catch my leg. Oh, give me great devotee. So better I can go away from here. So before dawn, before dawn, sunrise. And left that place. This is the nature of Guru Vaishnav. They never want to get Pratishtha, but Pratishtha coming to decorate their life. What to do? One exalted devotee who is Number one Vedantist in Vrindavan, great devotee, exalted devotee, realized soul, Siddha Mahatma. Vedanta, all Vedanta, he already digested all Vedanta and speak. In Vrindavan, one big society, educational society or those uh, sadhu, they have committee. They wanted to give him, they wanted to confer him one big title of Vedanta. They wanted to give him big title of Vedanta. So all important persons, they, they together coming in his bhajan kutir, in his bhajan kutir, they paid Randabhat and requesting him 
could you please come to attend that uh, assembly? We like to confer you on title regarding Vedanta, everything we like to do. That sadhu become very angry. He say, you just get out from here. Get out from here. Get out from here. I don't like to hear. If you like to know something, if you like to get the kipa of Vedanta, then you can come to me. If you like to get some kipa of Vedanta, then you can come to me. You like to confer title. I can make urine and stool and eat. Go. Go away. I don't need. What do you like to give me? What I can do with this title? That's why our, our Prabhupada never wanted to collect any title. Prabhupada could easily collect Bhagavad Bhushan, eh, Vedanta, Bid, Bhagavad Acharya, so many titles, countless titles Prabhupada could arrange easily. But Prabhupada never wanted to collect any title. Prabhupada never wanted to collect any title. Prabhupada wanted to serve Bhagavan from heart. Prabhupada wanted to engage us in Hari Bhajan perfectly. So Prabhupada used to say, those who are really getting the taste of Ananya Bhajan. Ananya Bhajan money? Ananya Bhajan money? What do you mean Man Mahajan money? Ananya Bhajan money? Absolute Bhajan. Ananya Bhajan mean they love Krishna so much that they cannot think anything in, even in dream. They don't think anything. Only Krishna and Krishna. They love. And they can realize, they can realize all the transcendental qualities, all the transcendental leela of Krishna. And with this realization, they are doing bhajan. That is called Niskinchan bhajan. That is called Ananya bhajan. That is called so if you are going to get this kind of taste, someday if you can realize the keep up Nityananda and go, only you realize the keep of Nityananda and go, you can never leave bhajan. You can never leave bhajan. Not possible. It's a question of realization. First of all, I should realize this world, this everything, what I have, all temporary. To pass lecture is very easy. To pass lecture is so easy, I can memorize some philosophy and pass lecture in front of you. But to realize and to help you realize so high, so tough. Because after realization, after realization, you can never feel it necessary to collect some stool and urine in the name of Pratishta. After realization, when you get realization, then you cannot. Question of realization. Every fraction of second, if you look here and there, all around, you can realize from heart, very shortly I am going away from this world. Nothing permanent. I am going to leave this world very shortly. What I can do with this, all this thing? Then you can try to each and everything for the bhajan of Gauranga Mahaprabhu. When you can realize everything unstable, then you cannot arrange anything personal, backside. You can think everything for Guru Vaishnava Bhagavad Seva. 
I can give you one example by the help of which you can realize you can realize what is called realization. You can realize what is called realization by one example. I am not a university lecturer. I am not a university lecturer so that you can expect nice piece of lecture from me. Or I am not a languagist so that you can expect nice, nice language philosophy from me. You can expect what? You can expect the direct realization I have received from my Guru Padma. That you can expect. You can expect only one thing. What is that? What kind of realization I have received from my Guru Padma. Shasmin Bhavancha Kesave. Sasmin Vavancha Kesave. What, rea what realization Guru Maj, out of his love, causeless mercy, wanted to give me, and after getting the realization, I was feeling something extraordinary. After getting the realization, I started feeling something extraordinary. And Ananda. One secret Ananda there. Nothing there with me. Penniless I am. Penniless that time I am speaking. But still I don't know what kind of enjoyment there. In Vrindavan, when Guru Maharaj gone, penniless, only begging two chapatis. But still I don't know what kind of enjoyment was there in me. Wherefrom I got this kind of power, energy to do Govardhan Parikram, Masvi Karikatha, do different kind of Chaurasi Parikram. Who giving me this energy? I don't know. From then onward, I could realize that Guru Kipa is the most vital thing. At the bank of Giriraj Maharaj, continuously speaking Harikatha, penniless, if somebody give me two chapati, I can take. But still, so much enjoyment, parikram, everything. Really. So, realization is a very important thing. If I am busy to collect money, position, everything, then I have no right to speak Harikatha in front of you. I mean, after hearing Harikatha from you, you cannot get any benefit. That is a result all, over, all around the world. That is the same result people get, getting. One example I can give you, perhaps you heard the name of Chitraketu Maharaj. You heard the name of Chitraketu Maharaj. Chitraketu Maharaj, he had no children. I am going to cut short because I have so many discussion. Finally, by the mercy of Angira Rishi, he was successful to get one boy from the main queen. Main queen. But before leaving that place, I mean after getting blessing that Angira uh, to that Maharaj, he already told him, Rajan, you can get one children, boy, who can give you both pain and pleasure. Who can give you both pain and pleasure. But the king could not realize that time. What do you mean by pain and pleasure? That Rishi wanted to say that boy will become a reason of your enjoyment and strong pain. But king could not realize, okay, I am going to get children. 
enjoyment. After that he got one boy. Anyway, that boy was poisoned, applied poison by some other queens. The boy died. After the after the message coming to that king from inside palace, the king was mad. King was so mad, the big powerful king who can get control over the whole world. The king, just like the crazy boy, running, running inside the palace, all clothes gone out, all here like mad, crying and crying. And going inside the palace where queen, queen, men, queen staying, and they jump into the room in front of the boy. Boy already left body. Terrific condition. Painful condition. Unbelievable. Nobody can believe. A king like this powerful can be become so weak. Yes. Yes. It's possible. After that, what happened? He started lamenting like mad, going to die. Then finally, Naradjisi and Angiradjisi, again both of them, coming to meet with him in ordinary base. Then he, they are asking, what happens, Rajan, to you? He is calling my only support gone now. Who is your support? That boy, only boy, man. Both of them asking, why you are lamenting? My only support of life gone. What I can do? This speaking Rajan, nothing lost. Nothing lost. When we are going to lose Try to remember, when we are going to lose Guru Vaishnava, when Guru Vaishnava going, going away from this world, that is what lost. If you have money gone, property gone, everything gone, nothing gone. Papa told nothing gone. Nothing gone. If Guru Vaishnava gone, if Gauranga Nityananda gone, then everything gone. Chaitanya Chaitamitra is gone, then everything lost. If the whole world is inundated by the immense flood water, everything gone from this world, devastated condition, still okay. Papa soul, I can take this Chaitanya Chaitamitra in my chest, I can swim in this water of this, you know, big water. Because if Chaitanya Charitamrita is protected, if Chaitanya Charitamrita is protected, then nothing lost. Everybody can think Prabhupada is crazy. Everybody can think he is crazy man. What do you say? Because they cannot reach up to that realization. When Guru Vaishnava is speaking, some so-called devotees, some so-called acharyas, so-called sannyasis, they can become angry. Because when this naked truth, Guru Vaishnava is going to open and going to show the naked truth, then it gives this kind of situation they cannot bear. That's why they become angry. But they cannot realize how much mercy that Guru Vaishnava have. That's why they have no jealousy with anybody. But still they are going to open the naked picture in front of you to give some warning to you. So that you can become alert. But people misunderstand. They are so merciful, so merciful. That's why they like to speak that way. 
Vrindavan Das Chakur was so merciful, so merciful. So he liked to kick on my head. Not that Vrindavan Das Chakur is very angry. No Vaishnava etiquette in Nadi is useless. That's why. Not going to. Pure Guru Vaishnava, they have no enmity with anybody. They have no desire to criticize anybody. You believe or not, I am sitting with Chaitanya Bhagavad. They have no desire to criticize. They have no enmity with anybody. But still they are so merciful to protect the whole world from the grief of those cheaters. They speak in this way. Especially, it was the order of the Prabhupada. It, especially, it was the order of Prabhupada. Those proud, those proud sadhu should be brought into light. It is the order of the Prabhupada. Proud sadhu should be brought into light, brought into notice of common people. We should arrest him because otherwise they are going to destroy the whole world in the name of preaching or mispreaching. It is not preaching, it is mispreaching. If preaching, then why people are not getting bhakti? Why people not knowing Siddhanta or Prabhupada? You give me answer. I don't like to fight with anybody. You like to prove that they are preaching, are you okay preaching? But you bring one man. I am not taking two men, five men, ten men. You bring one man in front of me. Who is not memorizing Shastra, heavens and realization. So surely it is not actual preaching. If actual preaching, then I can make one realized soul. Surely. I can make realized soul. Because one realized soul can make another real soul. One realized soul, if I am myself realized soul, then I can make you realize. Of course, if you are sincere, if you are not cheater, hundred percent I can make you. I promise you. Provided you are not going to cheat me. I can make you realize soul. It's a duty of Guru Pātvatma. So finally, those two rishis speaking, Rajan, nothing lost in your life. Well, now everything gone. I don't like to live anymore. And finally, in front of that Chitraketu Raja, the two rishis, they're calling that, jiva, that Jivatma who gone from that body, like the case of Mahaprabhu. In the case of Siva's Prabhu's, I mean the son of Siva Prabhu gone and Mahaprabhu called the Jivat Bhagam, enter and give him, why you are going? Oh, everything finished here. All over, all transaction over here. Mahaprabhu, hey, why you are going here? It's very nice place, you can stay. No, my transaction over, I can go away. Jivatma speaking. Similar case. The tourist is calling the Jivatma. Jivatma, why you are going away? You are so lucky. He was the son of this, you know, Chittu, Chittu Kittu Raja. So great. You are the prince. So lucky. Why you are going away? My transaction over here. Now you stay more. No, I cannot stay here. I am going to new house. New house means new body. New house means a house. New house. Enter. I am going to take new body. Like the Gita, you know? Gita already. Basangsi jirnani jathavi hayo navani grinnati naro aparani. In Gita Bhagavan Sri. So Jivatma, no, 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 I cannot say. I cannot say. Oh, so much opulence. No, my transaction over. I have to go to new place. When the Jivatma entered the body of the small boy again, and speaking all the tattva katha, tattva siddhanta, then all the craziness of that king gone. 
Oh, this is life. Oh, really? This is life. So, I am so mad. Then all darkness was dismantled. Those two kings wanted to dismantle the darkness there, ignorant there in the heart of that king. So one example is more than sufficient. He was not ordinary king, but still he could not realize. Now after getting the kripa of these two rishis, the king could realize this is called life. Follow. Before doing Hari Bhajan, you should realize the meaning of life. Don't forget what I say. Hari Bhajan you can do after. But before doing Hari Bhajan, it is more urgent to realize the meaning of your life. If you can realize the meaning of your life, it can become a turning point in your life. You can dedicate everything for Guru Vaishnava Bhagavan. Now today is the Tiravap Tithi of the great Shamananda Prabhu. Shamananda Prabhu is the eternal parsad of Gauranga Mahaprabhu. Eternal parsad of Srimati Radharani Kanaka Manjuri. But still they are manifesting this kind of Leela. He took birth in a place, remote place, of this West Bengal and Orissa border, Dharendra Bahadurpur. Dharendra Bahadurpur. It is actually uh, north west, north west, Minnapur. North west Minnapur, just the border of Orissa. There he took bath. In a very ordinary family, ordinary in the sense. No appliances, no money. Name of father was Krishna Mandal. Externally, he took birth in a low family. Many son and daughter gone away from this world. After that, this boy took birth. I mean, Samananda. So, father and mother took decision to keep the name of that boy as Dukhi, Dukhi, Dukhi Krishna Das. Our father and mother speak Dukhi Krishna Das. Because many son and daughter are all gone. Like many son and daughter of Jagannath Mishra gone. That is the name of the boy was giving Nimai. Nimane, Nim, Nim tree, very, very bitter. So Jamaraja can not feel any interest to take that boy away. But they don't know this boy is Nima, is Bhagavan. So Jagannath Mishra took uh, Sachi Mata. So he took bath under, the, under one Nim tree. So Nim is very, very bad, you know, very bitter. So ja, perhaps Jamraji Maharaj cannot take. So better he can take. So finally, this is the case. The boy took birth, but by birth, that, that boy was very intelligent and devoted. He was admitted in the school. Within a very short period of time, all Vakaran, Alankar, all, everything finished. So intelligent. When he, were, he is going to grow up, like 12 years, 10 years, 12 years over, he is thinking to take shelter of such Sadguru because he heard the name of Nityananda and Gauranga from the senior devotees of the village. In a village some Vaishnavas there, they love him and from them he is learning hearing the name of Gauru Nityananda. So as he was very much interested to take one Sadguru, accept one Sadguru, but a small boy. 
after watching after watching tremendous attraction tremendous after watching the boy he is feeling tremendous attraction for hari bhajan then father krishna mandal speaking well my boy you are very much interested to do bhajan you like to take shelter of sadguru well i give you permission you can take shelter of sadguru you give me permission yes but i heard the boy speaking i heard the name of one sadguru there his name is ana hidai chaitan i am in the disciple of gauridas pandit who is a eternal prasad of gaur nitan but he is staying in kalna how i i like to take shelter how you can go you are small boy you cannot go that time no train no nothing no vehicle how you can go? you if you permit me i can go by the help of the senior devotees sometime they are going to navadip to take bath in ganga darshan i can go with them okay you go father and mother mother name is durika devi mother durika devi and father krishna mandal give permission because they know ultimate success of bhajan is hari bhajan ultimate success of bhajan is not la puja patishtha mani position worldly attachment even the acharya sip false acharya sip nothing so important important thing is hari bhajan at any condition we are staying in any condition hari bhajan is a must that's why bhakti mr tagore wrote on kirtan grihe thaki bone thaki sada hari bole rakhi it matters little it matters little whether we are staying in grihastha life grihe in grihastha life mean somebody in grihastha life somebody is without marriage staying in home i am going to mean both grihe thaki mean i am staying in i couldn't go outside to take renounce order externally okay is not so important bhakti mata wrote in kirtan you must do kirtan daily grihe thaki bone thaki sada hari bole rakhi it matters little whether i am staying in the forest or inside room but i am all is going to call the name of bhagwan you is more important so finally he was successful to come to reach kalna he was just standing a small boy asking the address of gauridas pandit hidai chaitanya some people think you go that way there the building is going that and outside gate he is paying prostrate dandavat not even entering somehow hidai chaitanya by chance feel some reaction inside heart i don't know why immediately he come out find one boy pay prostrate dandavat hey who are you i am coming to serve your lotus feet my name is ano is you know krishna uh, dukhi dukhi my name is dukhi then hidai chaitanya speaking today i saw in dream that somebody coming to meet you so so you are so come 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 said come then he is going to give a full identity he was very happy go and take bath in ganga everything after that on a very auspicious day initiation was given he was serving gurudev serving gurudev so many eh uh, so many time every day is going to ganga to take ganga water 
all seva on those days, all seva they used to perform by the help of Ganga, right from the cooking or washing everything. So every day he used to take one pitcher, big pitcher, taking a head. And going to Ganga, taking water. How many times? Countless. This way, by his service, by his service, Hidai Chaitanya, I mean Guru Padma was very much satisfied. It's a very important point. Don't try to over overlook this point. I like to give some idea to you. Very important. Whole world can know I am not enjoying Guru Kipa. I have done no Guru Seva. He has done Guru Seva. It matters little. But maybe it's one kind of politics. It's one kind of politics. Because those who are ordinary devotees, when they are serving Gurudev from heart, nobody is going to pay attention to that. Very ordinary. But Gurudev is going to watch. I told you, na, one very, very illiterate, illiterate seva he used to do seva in Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Follow. Whenever Prabhupada cannot see him, if Prabhupada cannot see him, where he has gone? I cannot see him. From the morning time I cannot see him, where he has gone? Are he is an ordinary devotee. Hey, cleaning, doing his so much ordinary seva. But Prabhupada have attention. He is doing seva from heart. You can make fool of whole world that you are the number one preacher, but you cannot make fool of Nityananda. That is my request to your lotus feet. Try to understand this point. You can make fool of whole world. Whole world can fight with me. But if I speak this Siddhanta, I think they cannot realize. Question of Guru Kipa. That Guru Kipa never depend upon how much capacity you have, how much excellency you have, educational qualification, how much money you can bring, how much lecture you can give, how much... Not that. If so, then why Prabhupada going to show so much interest to that ordinary boy? Where he has gone? I cannot see him from morning time. Prabhupada, attention. Whereas big, big writer, editor, gone leaving Prabhupada, they left Prabhupada. They left Prabhupada gone. Even they are not going to speak the name of Prabhupada anymore. When they are writing, when after leaving Gauriamat and Prabhupada, when they are gone, they are writing so many books. But they are not going to write even the name of Prabhupada. They like to cut and throw Prabhupada from their life. Follow. This is the condition. So whole world can give garland to me. Whole world can say I am the number one preacher. Who are you to pass Rima? Whole world one side and Prabhupada one side. Whole world one side and Prabhupada, the Prabhupada one side. I can accept Prabhupada, not the whole world. So, if whole world speaking, I have done no Guru Seva. Because I, mean, I was very ordinary Seva. Ordinary Seva. So, I think Guru, Guru Pat Padma can realize my heart. Whole world can say, I have done no Guru Seva. I am less interested about that. I have no concern over this point. Only I want to draw the attention of my Guru Pātpad. Who is enjoying Guru Kipa and who is not? Be careful. Who is enjoying Guru Kipa and who is not? This is not the question of advertisement. 
This is not the question of advertisement. This is not the question of advertisement. Because Pope is speaking, who is going to prove Pope is speaking? The Pope is speaking. Who is going to prove I am number one devotee, Vaishnava? I am the number one. Pope is speaking, he is branded a Vaishnava. Pope is speaking, who want to prove that I am the only Vaishnava, only Prachara? Pope speaking, he is branded a Vaishnava. You can believe or cannot believe, that's up to you. If you like to survive, you must follow me. If you like to survive, you must follow me, otherwise you can misunderstand me and go away. I don't care. Pope speaking, who want to project his name as a big Acharya Vish Prabhu? I am unknown. Everything done by him. He is the only pracharak, really. But Prabhupada speaking, who, who want to prove this way, he is a branded Avaishnava. And not only that Prabhupada told, by many incidents, many of his, many of his dialogue, writing, I can prove this non Vaishnava. Not that only Prabhupada told, uh, you know, Hundred years back, not that. Almost hundred years back, Papa told. Seven years less. Papa, uh, yes, Papa left uh, 1936, and now you see, almost going to, it is 23, and somewhere. Not that only Papa told, but it's practical. I can show you countless evidence. Of course, if your luck is good, you can. I can speak Harikatha. Those who are bad luck, they cannot understand. The good luck, they cannot realize. It's like mathematics. Mathematics, if you are going to make slight mistake, whole mathematics is okay. But you are going to make slight mistake, then you can get zero. Whole mathematics is okay. Everything all step by step. Only one mistake you make. Very minor mistake. So, you can get zero. Don't forget. Try to remember this Siddhanta. If you make Vaishnav Aparat, all whatever you have done, all zero. So, after getting the Kipa of Hidai Chaitanya, he was feeling very nice. Hidai Chaitanya is going to send him to Jiva Goswami Path. By, wa by, watching, by watching the talent of this boy, you must go. You must go to Jiva, Jiva Goswami in Vrindavan. And there you learn everything. He is a number one Vidyan, Vedantist in the world. So, you order me. Yes, you go. Then the boy taking permission from Gurudev and his name was given Krishna Das. His name was given Krishna Das by Gurudev. I mean the He is going, first of all, he is going to coming, he is, he is coming to Navadiv Dham to pay Dhanabhar to the house of Gauranga Mahaprabhu. Gauranga Mahaprabhu was not there long before left. But still, he met with Ishan Thakur, who was old enough, very old, meet. Got Kifa, from there he is going. First of all, he going to Kashi, Varanasi. No, first of all to Goya. From Goya, he got, took the darshan of the place where Gauranga Mahaprabhu took, you know, this Diksha. Vishnu Bhagavad from there to Varanasi, Tapan Miso, and all devotees is going to meet. From there, he is again running, Elihavad is that finally going to reach Mathura, taking darshan of Adikesha, Vishramgha, taking bath in Jamuna, going to meet with Jiva Goswami 
asking Bhajavasi, where is the where is the bhajan kutir of where is the bhajan kutir of Jiva Goswami? They guide him at the bank of Jamuna you go. When finally coming in front of Jiva Goswami path, paying prostrate dandavat and hand and going to hand over the letter, he hand over the letter written by Gurudev, his Gurudev to Jiva. Is the letter given by my Gurudev to you. Gurudev writing, I am going to send Krishna Das to you. You must accept him as your own disciple. You can give all, you can arrange all teachings. All you can. And after that, finally, if you think everything is over, then you can send him to me. The Jiva Goswami was going to accept that boy very from heart. And by that time already, Narutam Thakur and Sriniva Sachajya was already there. They are already there with Jiva Goswami Pad. And it is the arrangement of Gauranga that all three, they can take the responsibility of, of preaching, Gauriya Darshan preaching. It is the arrangement of Gauranga. That's why Narutam Thakur and Srinivas Ajaj already and together with them he started learning all Shata Sandarbha, Bhagavad Siddhanta, Vedanta, uh, everything. Srinivas Ajaj was doing some seva because his Gurudev was also living just nearby. Gopal Bhattu Goswami, you know Gopal Bhattu Goswami, Radha Raman. So it was near. Radha Damodar, from there it is not so far. So he used to go there, Guru Seva, again used to do the Seva of Jiva Goswami Bhagavad he used to do. And Nautam Thakur, his Gurudev used to live long away. No possibility to go. He used to stay Khadirvan. So by the permission of Gurudev, he used to stay with, he used to stay with Jiva Goswami to learn everything. One day, Krishna was asking, which seva you prefer? Which seva you prefer that I do? Which seva you prefer that I do? Jiva Goswami said, well, every day in morning time, you can go and clean that niduvan. You can go to this niduvan and you can clean that place. Okay? So every day he is going to carry one boon and going to clean the place. One day, one day miracle, he suddenly discovered one very bright thing. What is that? He reached that place, he find one ankle belt. Very nice. Dibya. Going to handle. So nice. So costly, maybe. Okay? I don't know who is going to miss this. Okay? He is going to keep inside clothes. But I don't know. Somebody can come to search. I can hand over. Somebody can search. It's so costly thing. I'm going to put and going to clean the place. In the meantime, Lalita coming and asking, you have seen, you are cleaning this place. Oh, you have seen one ankle belt here? Very nice. Whose ankle belt? Your? No, no, not mine. My friend. My friend. Not speaking the name. By watching the beauty of that girl, this kind of girl is not positive. Are you ordinary girl? How it can be so effulgent body coming, so sweet, you know, glamour? Well, I, I have the, you have? Yes, I, I, I already find. But I can hand over to that, you know, your friend. Who is going to miss that? Oh, you cannot give to me directly. No, I cannot give directly. Let him, let her come and take. Then Lalita going to call Radharani. Radharani sees 
is very clever, he can hand over to you directly. Oh, really? Then let me go. Then Radharani coming and standing under the backside of a tree, like the one tree, Samananda Deya saying, they said. And from hiding, whole body, speaking, oh, it is mine, it is mine, Radharani speaking. By watching the beauty of that girl, Samananda Babu started trembling. Because she is Radharani, come on. <laughs> oh my God. He started feeling reaction after watching Radharani. Yes, today I am lucky. This girl, how powerful. It is mine. You can give? Yes, I can give. Then hand over. Then Lalita going to hand over that to Radharani. Lalita come back to that man. I mean, Krishnadas, my Shakhi want to give you some benediction. Benediction? Yes. But she is very happy that you find and hand over this to I want no benediction. I only want keeper of Radha Govinda. Oh, really? Yes. I want no keeper. I want no benediction what I can do. I leave everything and come here. In search of Radha Govinda. Oh, really? Then, my Shakhi speaking, you can go to that pond, take bath. My Shakhi speaking, you go to that pond and take bath and come in front of my Shakhi. Not speaking, she is Radharani. Then Samananda is going to take bath in the Kunda and whenever get up, he become a lady. Beautiful lady, girl. When take bath in the pond, come out. Very beautiful girl, she become. I'm going to approach. Because Radharani never meet with any your man. Going in front of Radharani, she is going to take the ankle belt. You know in ankle belt some portion, projected portion, in which some musical uh, ball there when when one lady dancing chum chum wow, sound coming from that eh, inside so rather than going to take the ankle belt as we can come to me taking the kum kum lacquer 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 in the leg taking lacquer making one tilak rather than with the lacquer in leg taking and making one nice steel up. Now to, from today, your name is Samananda, rather than speaking. And this steel up is permanent. And the lady form, I mean I, at present he is in lady form, na? Woman, na? Your name is Konak Manjari. That was the Konak Manjari. Rather than he vanished from that place, he is shedding tears and feeling some reaction because Radharani is going to, after that, coming in front of Jivapat, being Dandavat. What is this? Eh? What from me gives this, 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 that? What? what happens to you? Why are you crying? This is the thing happened. Oh, really? Don't speak to it. Don't speak it to anybody else. You are so lucky. Come, come to me. Jiva Goswami is going to embrace him. So lucky you are. Endless luck. Your luck knows no bounds. Jiva Goswami is speaking. Don't speak it to anybody. Radharani directly came to Kupa. So lucky you are. After that, Jiva Goswami was very careful about that boy. Yoga Swami realized the eternal person. After that, when the education is completely over, then Jiva Goswami took decision. I mean, that time Loknath Gosai also there. They all together took decision to send Shamananda, Narottama Thakur, Sinibha Sachajyo. They wanted to send them for preaching all around. They are going to arrange all the books written, countless books written by Jiva Goswami Pad, Rupa Goswami Pad, Raghunath, all Goswami books. 
together with his own books, like Sandarbha, everything. All different. Yoga Sainte is going to collect all books and going to make a bundle, bundle in a bullock cart. All devotees coming in front of Jiva Sipa, they bless this tree, this tree, Samananda Pur, Narottamo, Sinivasa Chajo, they bless them. Go. It is the desire of Gauranga. One thing don't forget. Those who are reeling actual those who are hearing actual Harikatha, they can never become full. Nobody can make them full. Those who are hearing actual Harikatha, those who are enjoying Kripa, nobody can make full of them. One day, one very nice devotee came. This Gaur Purnima, previous Gaur Purnima, I don't like to name his name. He respect me and love me so much, I don't know no, why. I don't know why, but he loved me. His age is 97, 98. He is always doing Harinam. People speaking, he is Nam Siddha. He wanted to meet with me. I was thinking, Gorpurnim time, always Harikatha going on. Also, to me, where I can meet, because I have no temple. He knows I am penniless. And my place, even one man cannot stand, so small, no ventilation, no. Where I can call him. And another place where books and papers, no place. In Gosala, if I go, this old man can go to Gosala with so much devotee, no accommodation. Because he has so much followers. So if they go, go sell or no place. So I thought, so I told, you can speak to that uh, Prabhu, I can go myself. I can myself, I myself can go to him. So I went there. I paid sufficient honor to him by catching his lotus feet, everything done. I, I started speaking Harikatha in front of his followers. Usually they are following my internet harikathas. All after that, I come back. He wanted to publish all the conversation between me, his conversation and me. He wanted to publish. I came next day here for harikatha after that. Then he is consulting with me. Maharaj, this Siddhanta coming, so what should we do? We can publish it or not. I will say we should not publish. We love him, honor him, but we cannot publish because this Siddhanta is not in line with Prabhupada. So we honor him, we love him very much. So my question, how he is going to develop this kind of intuition? How he is going to develop this kind of intuition? That this is speaking this way, Maharaj, is we should publish. I said, no, don't publish. We honor him, but this conversation we need not publish. Leave it. Hello. So my question, you know. So those who are hearing actual Harikatha, those who are casually coming here, going here, I am not speaking about them. Because for them, Harikatha hearing is not so predominating factor. No important. They can hear, they cannot hear. It depends upon their mood. But I am thinking about those, those who are developing tremendous tenacity for Harikatha. Like my Guru Maharaj, one Scorpio bit, pain, full body. I must go to Prabhupada to hear Harikatha. No father can stop me with this pain going to hear it. I, my Harikatha is for them. Now you realize, my Harikatha is not for all. My Harikatha is for those sincere devotees. Because if ordinary people, they cannot hear, they cannot understand. They cannot understand, they misunderstand. So now, 
they three started by taking care of that bullock cart because bullock cart there was big you know big you know iron box in these all books then put the iron box in the and uh, start in the midway i mean almost they are going to reach almost they are going to reach that destination in the meantime in bankura district all those books and properties were all stolen i am not going to details no time sinivas acharya took responsibility of those books how to recover but you cannot you too cannot waste your time because it is the order of gurudev you can go for pitch i can try to recover but you what you can do then narottam thakur going eastern zone up to eastern zone for fishing and samananda prabhu going to all orissa belt orissa belt bengal orissa belt everything all everything are you massive preaching massive preaching this word is only applicable for them sometimes i say na massive preaching this word is not applicable for everybody massive preaching this word is applicable for goranga nitananda adwaita gosai massive preaching applicable for north madhav go sinivas ajjor samananda prabhu phate not for for prabhu pa massive preaching this word not applicable not right application finally samanand bo started preaching oh i cannot speak no time cannot pass you can go mad wherever going by watching samanand bo everybody become mad only by watching darshane pavitra karo you tomar gun you know if you go and take bath in ganga they can you can get purified but about a vaishnav is not true a vaishnav if you look at vaishnav pure vaishnav you can purify yourself is appropriate siddhanta so many kirtan written by narottam thakur bhakti mur thakur vaishnave charan renu mastake bhushan binu ar nahi bhushaner anto who writing narottam thakur all the dust particle from the lotus feet of vaishnavas if i can take and put up my head that is the topmost decoration in my life no decoration not even diamond all you know eh, blue sapphire nothing can be so important is the topmost decoration if i take dust particle from and put bhakti mutta go speaking same not to mutta vaishnave charan renu मस्त के भूषण बिनु आर नहीं भूषण एर आह द डे यू कैन रियलाइज द ग्लोरीज ऑफ वैष्णव द इम्पॉर्टेंसी द ग्लोरीज ऑफ द लोटस फीट ऑफ गुरु वैष्णव यू कैन कम आउट सक्सेसफुल यू कैन कम आउट सक्सेसफुल द डे यू कैन रियलाइज द हु इज हु इज गुरु वैष्णव how you can criticize guru vishnu by watching at vishnu coming in front of you can fall down on ground said me said me how you can how you can criticize no scope how you can criticize vishnu vishnu is flawless nirdosh badando suchi all the qualities of vishnu first of all starting with this point nirdosh flawless निर्दोष बदानो सूची स्टार्टिंग बट यू आर गोइंग टू फाइंड सो मन फॉर सो मेनी फॉल्ट विथ गुरु विष्णु यू वॉन्ट टू किक ऑन देअर हेड यू वॉन्ट टू इंसल्ट देम यू वॉन्ट टू मिसगाइड ऑल योर डिसबल ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड टू गो टू हेल्प वैष्णव है विश्वास विद्धि हो खने खने इट इज द प्रेयर ऑफ भक्ति में ठाकुर हो प्रभु you arrange so that every fraction of second i can increase faith unto the lotus feet of guru vishnu 
But you, Acharya, teaching all your disciples all over the world that you try to develop disbelief and hatred under the lotus feet of Guru Vishnu. This is your teachings. When, when your Gurudev is fall down, I am speaking one example. Suppose, suppose your Gurudev is fall down. In that case, but previously he was not fall down. Try to understand. When you took the, when you took diksha, that time he was not fall down. He is okay. Madhya Madhikari or maybe he was not fall down. After that, after coming Lak Puja Padishta, he fall down. He is speaking all rubbish. In that case, you can put question in front of me. The Maharaj, if our previous Guru fall down, then our line is off. Yes, your line is off. Your line is offline now. Then what to do? You will have to take shelter of a Sadguru, a Siksha Guru, who can give the exact teachings of Prabhupada. Follow. So, suppose this line is disconnected from the main line. What to do? Then you have to find the fault where? Oh, this portion is uh, totally fault. Then you can take the line, you can take the line uh, that way. You can take the line that way to meet with the main line. But anyway, you cannot uh, stay without light. Anyway, you cannot stay. This line is off, this is uh, all uh, destroyed, this line. So you can take where through that way and go connection with uh, to get in connection with that, you can get light. This is the Siddhanta which are told by Prabhupada. Don't fear. Don't fear. So you can get Kepa. You will have to come in this line to accept because what to do? This way. If somebody's Gurudev is actually Madhamadikari, not uh, so important, but still they can accept. Like the case, uh, so many cases I can show you. Follow. So many such cases you can show. This way, you know, if you can take shelter of a pure devotee who is exactly in line with, with the Prabhupada, with Bhakti Mnath Thakur, then be sure you are in the line of the teachings given by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. No fear. So, Samananda Bhu started preaching. Multiple, multiple preaching. You cannot believe. Samananda Bhu is going to give Kipa to somebody. I mean, he is initiating give Kipa. He is going to preach multiple ways. Are you? He is going to give to one man. That one man going to two, two to four, four to four, four, sixteen. Multiple. Multiple ways preaching. And genuine preaching. After that, one very, very nice, important person, his name is Rashikananda Prabhu. He was, he was a, he was a son of a big landlord. He was the son of a big landlord. Landlord is very pious, you know. Pious landlord, not very important. You know. Rasikananda Babu was mad to take shelter of Sadguru. Because Rasikananda is the eternal person of Samananda. Rasikananda is eternal person of Aniruddha Vishnu. Rasikananda is Aniruddha Vishnu. Aniruddha Vishnu. And Samananda Babu is Kanak Manjuri. Then in dream, when we become crazy to run for in search of Guru, then in dreams, hey, don't run. Your Guru is coming to you. Your Guru is coming to you very shortly. Oh, really? Then he is going to keep patience. Guru is coming to me. Yes, Guru is coming to you. You keep patience. Don't run. Oh my God, Samananda coming with full troops in that village. Then Rasikananda Prabhu, after looking at him, ah, that was a dream. 
now come true, now coming true. He took care of that Guru. He started crying, you give me shelter? Yes, I can give. Then he was initiated by Samananda, Harinam initiation. After that, he, Rashikananda Prabhu left home. He kept take permission from father and mother, I cannot stay at home. Rashikananda going outside. And preaching with Guru Dev, Samananda Prabhu. Oh, you cannot imagine. Even dangerous docoids, mad elephant, the all change. Mad elephant, crazy, all change their life by the mercy of Samananda Prabhu. It's not a matter of joke. Samananda Prabhu, who is Samananda Prabhu? Advaita Gosai coming in the form of Samananda. Srila Nathama Thakur coming in the form of, uh, Nathananda Prabhu coming in the form of Nathama Thakur. Gorangama Prabhu coming in the form of Srinivasa Chaitanya. Gorangama Prabhu himself told to Vishnu Priya, my second body is coming to you tomorrow morning. You can give Kipa to him. So they are coming to preach all Vaishnava Siddhanta all along. So today, so today we have the scope to sit here. So today we have the scope to sit here to speak something about Vaishnava Siddhanta, whatever sm a small capacity we have, we are trying. Because Vaishnava Siddhanta, Harikatha is Ananta. In Bhagavatam it is written, According to the capacity of that bird, bird flying in the sky, some bird going too much high, some bird in a medium portion, some bird cannot fly. From here to there, there to there. It is written in Bhagavatam. Like bird according to capacity flying in the sky, Vaishnavas also. They are getting the kipa from Nityananda, Gauranga, Advaita Gosai, Guru Varga. And according to that capacity, they are speaking Harikatha. Their Harikatha is not, you know, one story. Their Harikatha is practical, living embodiment of a Prakita Harikatha, a Prakita Shabda Brahma. So, you can get benefit if you are sincere. I think so. So, today I like to stop here. Time cannot permit. So, you can remember the sloka I started with. Naham ijya prajapati bhyam tapaso pasame nava. Naham ijya prajapati bhyam tapaso pasame nava. Tushayam sarva bhutatma guru shusha sayayatha.